All right, what you see here is a Hunter Low Profile ceiling fan in 42 inches. I got this fan from Mark Wilson almost three years ago now. And I'm showing it with a bullet spotlight kit and a pickled oak blade showing down this time. Um, the way you see this fan is basically how I got it from him. Except for, the only difference is that I put some black ri r insert rings for the um, spotlights. Since when he gave it to me, those were... I guess they broke on him, the ones, the original ones that came with it. But, um, yeah, this is basically the way he had this fan installed in his bedroom. Except, like, basically every other year, I think, from what he told me, he would flip the blades over to, just to change it up and such. But, um, I like it in this combination the, the most. Basically, for almost any fan, I usually like, I usually will like it more with the white motor, like the white fan with, like, a white wood blades. It just looks less plain. But, um, yeah. The fan is from the fourth quarter of 1998. It has the black motor. Pretty nice fan. It's in pretty good shape. He definitely took care of it. There are some scratches on it now. Like, not nothing major. You'd have to look at it closely. But that's since it's been in my possession, and especially since it's been in the bottom of my... It's been upstairs in my closet. But it's still like in good. It's still in really good shape, enough for it to be still be installed somewhere. The only fans I want to install somewhere are like if they're really discolored, if they're like tarnished, rusting, and such, or if they're just not in good shape to be installed. They're like they're not presentable and such. But if they have like a little, tiny bit of wear on it, it's not, that's not going to stop me from installing it. But um, yeah, this one, um, it's in really good shape. Oh, um, let's see. Hunter logo right here. And let me go ahead and show it with the light. Stole these from the, the Infinity upstairs again. I definitely am going to get some spotlight, track lighting light bulbs right down here. Because I'm using these ones all the time. It's getting a bit tiring, so I'm stealing them from the Infinity over and over again. I mean, it gets off good lighting. So let me go ahead and. Actually, that actually looks pretty good on the camera. Not sure. Uh, good stuff, good lighting, but um, I'm not sure if actually I'll just test them like this from now on. I mean, maybe not. It kind of looks. Mm. It just feels very dark, though. I don't know. I might test them like this from now on and leave this one right here off. I don't know, I just feel like it makes it look like it, too much light is hitting it, like it makes it seem more unnatural. And so I'd rather kind of prefer it this way, but... It could work out for the iMovie remake if I do it that way. But um, yeah, here's low. Fingers off. A decent breeze on low speed. It doesn't go too fast on low speed, which is a good thing since quite a bit of 42 inch fans tend to go a bit fast on low. Like it moves at a good speed that doesn't move too little air and doesn't move too much air. It's like a perfect low speed for a fan of this size. And yes, this was the spotlight kit that was on the 50, the 52 inch low profile of my bedroom and the white infinity that was in my bedroom as well. And that's literally the fan that I got it off from. So I figured if, since I'm going to be testing this out here, I might as well put the spotlight kit back on it. I gotta say that I really do like how it looks on the 42 inch fan. I know the 42 inch fans do. Usually look pretty good with spotlight kits, depending on the fan, though. Well, like, it's like a, a light kit never really looks too big on a 42-inch fan. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and show up the light.
Some of y'all thought it would have been cool as if I had this Andy 52 inch one in my bedroom and has a dual install. So I'd have to kind of change up like the way it was. Like if it was my own place, I, I don't know if it would have been worth it because I don't think I would have kept both fans up permanently. And then I, if I was to take them down, I'd have to find another two other fans to do a dual install and such. So to find like two matching fans, like one bigger one and another small one, wouldn't have been that's worth it. But it would have been a cool install. If I was to do that, I'd rather do it like in a spot that so like a permanent install, like have like a, let's say like a kitchen install, like have like a small, the big one in one spot and the smaller one in a different spot. Um, yeah. Obviously, if I didn't, if I had done that for the bedroom, I would have put the 52 inch one over my bed. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and show it on medium. My bedroom definitely is big enough to like have two, even 52 inch fans. It's just, they have it in the center, obviously. I had, I, if we were on the second floor apartment, the bedroom that's above mine is kind of split up into like two. So you can have like one as a bedroom and the other one as an office or like some like lounge type room of some sort. So I kind of like had this one in the lounge type one, but obviously I would have put something stronger there. Plus I would have to need it in another spot like it like this, which I do have another one like this that, that was white, but that's was painted black and it's being unused on the infinity right now. In the living room. Alright. Off the light. All right, let's go ahead and move the fan up to high speed. So it is a little bit hot down here too, so I kind of do want it on high. Kind of the reason why I was kind of cycling through the speeds a little bit quicker than I usually do. It's so moving some pretty good air on the high speed. It does have a bit of a wobble, which I kind of notice if you put a light kit on a fan, especially like a spotlight kit, I notice a fan will tend to wobble a little bit more. So like the added weight to it, I guess. It's funny, I don't think I've had a fan down here like it's a little profile or almost every fan I've tested with a spotlight kit down here has had a wobble on it. So kind of hoping the next fan that I test down here with a spotlight kit doesn't do that, but no guarantees. No fan I've installed that doesn't wobble with a spotlight kit was is the Infinities and the all three of them to be in exact. Pass by two weren't enough wobble if that was flush mounted but it did have a tiny bit of a wobble. And the um Panama that's in my bedroom right now. But I feel like after that Panama was on the down on it would wobble because there's a, a blade that is a bit warped on it. Definitely is. I know these aren't really considered to be the most powerful fans of Hunter, but for a fan of this size, it really, it's not extremely impressive, but it, it does move a good amount of here for its size. Could it be a little bit better? Yes, but it is a 42 inch fan and a spinner motor, so can't really go expect too, too much. It definitely wouldn't be bad for like a fan that just needs a fan to move some good air and such. Obviously, the Lady, uh, the Lady Delta would move a lot more air than this, but it moves a good amount of air for its size, but it's, and it's not, like, overwhelming, which is a good thing, I think. Now, the summertime, though, is probably when you definitely would want something stronger. Alright. Shut it off in 
me spin down and then I'll show it on the burst. Yeah, I remember um, when I saw um, Jack Patterson's video of this, his little profile that he had at his old house. I think it was in the guest bedroom or something. Um, I really loved how that looked with the spotlight kit. And that's really what influenced me to put up the 52 inch one in my bedroom like that. So they kind of have like one, like basically the same thing as his, except mine has a black motor and I think has a smaller switch on it. I don't know what it is, but I know his, I could tell his was from Lowe's. Well, one could have had a Harbor Reese remote to it, so that kind of gave it away. But, um, I've always felt like that the 42 inch low profiles from Wells, they have like a little bit, bit of a chubbier, like a chunkier switch housing. It could just be my eyes deceiving me, I'm not too sure. I'd have to see one up close or like in person to, to really be able to tell and, and compare the difference. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I definitely do love how these low profile fans work with the spot. Okay, the f low profile is one and two. I think they look really nice with them. The low profile three, if you were to put like a spot like kit like this on it, I don't think they look too good. It just the shape of the switch housing looks strange with these on them. All right, let's go ahead and show it on reverse. And I'm gonna be cycling through it on reverse quickly too because it is a bit warm down here. Next thing I test on here probably had to be something that's like 52 inches this so it won't be as hot. I remember though when it, um, for those who remember, um, that, um, apartment that I showed, it was literally the only apartment I showed before we moved, we decided on moving into this one, um, it was actually like maybe a five minute walk from the college that I go to, or university actually, but, um, they had like an antique brass 42 inch low profile too, and some Ancon, I think it was Ancon cursing in the kitchen, I had a message from Mark asking if he could sell me this, because I was thinking I was going to have to put a 42 inch fan in a different room, and, uh, I didn't have like enough fans at the time to like decide on, Honestly, I was honestly hang, messaging him if I could buy this from him. But, um, yeah, because like, I think there was like a, there was like three bedrooms in that place, and I wanted. To, I don't. I think I, it was at the coastal beach. I thought I was going to have to put it in the kitchen, so I didn't. And I didn't want to use like the, the forty two inch Glendale and such. I'd rather have something better. Definitely glad I didn't move there because the ceilings there were very low, and this place is a lot nicer. One thing that sucks is that. This place is a little bit further away from the college, like or the university I go to, and the other one's really less than like maybe a three minute walk at most or five minutes. But it was like literally right down the street from it. And then there was another one which I did a video of, I didn't really bother showing it on YouTube. It's literally right in front of one of the of like the classes. Literally like right across the street from like the building that where I have a few classes each year. That would that one was a nice one, but again this one this apartment's nicer. I like the way out of that one too, but it's just the space for the amount of stuff we have will not have worked out as well. Plus I have a really big bedroom in this place where the other one I would have had a smaller one. Still would have been able to fit a 52 inch fan, but I did I wouldn't be able to fit all my stuff in in the room. And I don't know what would have been the case with the fan since I don't know if we had access to the basement. I think it does have a basement, but I just don't know if they would be okay with me testing them down here, which they don't really know about it down here, but they do know there's a fan installed down here, and that's about it. Then there was one place that had a really big basement that would have been perfect for storing fans, but it would have been bad in the case that had I um gotten way too many fans and then we moved out, would have and there was into a place that didn't have that big of a space to store fans, I would have had got rid of a lot of them, which is Basically, the main reason why I'm not even using the other basement to store fans, I'm really trying to like kind of limit myself on how much I really get. So if I can't put them in this basement and such, or if I, if I can't like store any stuff down here, aside from like upstairs in, in my bedroom, like in the bedroom in my mom's closet, then 
I gotta get rid of some. So it's just like a way to really restrain myself from getting way more than I can store somewhere in the future if I can't like have a place to store them. All right. Let's go ahead and shut it off. And that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.